from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good afternoon. Hope you've had a nice weekend so far. Sure enough, taking a look at the geostationary satellite view from 22,000 miles up, you can kind of see that system still meandering off the west coast here, and that's going to be sort of the weather maker for the next few days, right? That's what we've been seeing through today, right, with that rain still ongoing at times across the area, even some rumbles of thunder, right? We had some of that instability in the certain level of the atmosphere, which permits some of those thunderstorms. Widespread 50s in the valley, but the rest of us are going to be in the 40s here, except for the coast, of course. But out here in the upper elevations, you see those 30s and even below freezing out there at Lassen Park. So, yeah, we're definitely in this cooler regime. And by the way, speaking of the cooler regime, right, I want to talk about this. We were talking about it this morning. This winter storm warning for portions of Shasta County, out here portions of Lassen Butte County, Tahama County, and Plumas County. But by the way, out here in Lassen County, this portion, so from right here, 395 corridor, right, all the way down to Susanville and all the way down the state line, this portion of it, that expires later today. But out here in Shasta County, riding down towards Portola, that expires on Tuesday. So we actually have a little bit of variation in these warnings. Now, let's go ahead and see why. First things first, this continues out here towards the east because we have some of these snow showers with the snow levels in the 3,500 foot vicinity. But as we head through tonight, things let up a little bit. I think there's a little bit of a lull in the precipitation, both snow and rain. But then as we head into our Sunday, so over the next 24 hours, things pick up a little bit once again. We kind of get round two, if you will, coming in from the west as moisture starts to push east with time here. Really over the next 12 hours is when we see the first signs of it, especially as we head through tomorrow morning. Notice off the coast, you're already seeing some of these rain showers, even heavier downpours at times. And then sure enough, those push inland through the mid-morning to late morning hours. And probably by about midday or so, we're starting to see this more widespread precipitation lingering across the area. By the way, you can really see why we are keeping this winter storm warning out here in portions of Tehama Butte County all the way down to Plumas County. Even northeast of Chico in the mountains in the 70 quarter, you can see those snow levels are relatively pretty low. So we're probably going to start seeing some travel impacts out there. And then, of course, along the coast, you can still see that isolated stuff moving in. Heavier downpours at times. We're probably going to pick up a good couple of more inches of rain when all is said and done with it over the next few days. But there is some good news on the horizon. So after about, I'd say, Tuesday or so, really Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, things let up a little bit. Notice as we head through Wednesday, we kind of clear out. Now, we do have a little bit of an energy impulse here near Thanksgiving, right? Now, Thanksgiving looks mostly fine as of the current indications, but check this out here. Especially in the southern portion of the north state, you saw a little bit of precipitation, a few showers kind of filter up some moisture into the valley. That's not going to be very impactful, but still, I do think it's entirely possible. We see a couple of those kind of trickle up north into Chico, maybe flirting with the south side of Red Bluff there and southern portions of the eastern mountains, the 70 corridor going out there in Plumas County. But that's not going to be too impactful. Don't change your Thanksgiving plans or anything like that. Just want to make you know, uh, kind of aware of that possibility. But besides this fact, the bulk, the vast, vast majority of the precipitation, both snow and rain, that's coming over the next three or so days. And first of all, in terms of rainfall totals, you can kind of see this is not going to be nearly as impactful as the last seven days, right? We saw huge, huge rainfall totals. But up here in Del Norte County through Humboldt County, as well as western Siskiyou County, wrapping through Shasta County, Lakehead North, up in between Mount Shasta City and all the way down to the eastern mountains, we're probably talking another inch or two of rain, right? A couple of us up here might even see two, three inches of rain, but that's still a far cry from the 10 inches of rain we saw at times even higher, you know, over the last seven days. So this is not going to be nearly as impactful on the whole. But still, we are unsettled over the next few days. You can really see that shower and rain chances sticking around as we head through the rest of this weekend and out towards about Tuesday or so out here in Trinity County, widespread 40s. But those 40s turn into 50s as we head through those clearer portions of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So yeah, a little bit of good news there if you've been tired of the rain. Also pretty gusty out there, this much is for sure. In fact, we have the gale warnings up north and also along the coast here. Sunday through tomorrow and into Tuesday, right? Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Same situations as we're seeing over the next 24 hours. By the way, you can see there a few thunderstorms still do remain possible because we do keep a little bit of that energy in the atmosphere. 50s is the story throughout the rest of the week here along the coast. Head a little further inland. You can kind of see that trend a little bit better hopping up north and 
all the way right in down south of Humboldt County as well. But yeah, by the way, check those winds out. That's what I was talking about there. But we do get some 60s in by Thanksgiving. Check it out by the end of the week. But next few days, showers and rain. That much is the story. And I think Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be a little more widespread as opposed to those isolated patches. But yeah, yeah let's go ahead. Mount Shasta City. See what we got here. Snow levels, 3,500 feet as we head through tomorrow, right? We've been talking about that, but they do raise just a little bit. They're going to start increasing in elevation as we head through Monday and Tuesday. I do think the air as a whole has a little bit less cold energy to it. So first of all, those temperatures start to slowly climb back up into the mid to upper 40s, and we start getting those snow levels out here, Siskiyou County and east, to 4,500 to maybe 5,000 feet. So we're starting to see more and more rain here, but still out here, we do have to watch for that possibility of some of that wintry type precipitation through the next few days. Alturas and Modoc County, it's the same story here. 4,500 feet or so of the snow levels by Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, you still have a lingering chance, but by Thanksgiving, Friday and Saturday, you're getting in the shadow if any of that stuff south makes it at all. So not gonna be a huge deal out here, but still 40s and 30s is gonna be the story for the next seven days. Eastern Mountains, the same story, widespread mid to lower 40s here. Snow levels increasing back up to 4,500 to 5,000 feet Monday into Tuesday. Chance lingers through tomorrow as well, of course, but uh, I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for all of us are going to be the better portion of the week. Widespread 50s is the story in the valley. Down here, much like today, we're going to be you know, mid 50s, maybe upper 50s over here uh, out towards Biggs, Gridley, and Orville, maybe by the dam, but I really don't think we're going to get much warmer than that for the next few days. I think it's only going to be towards the end of the week we start getting back near 60, but we're holding those shower chances for the next several days. You know, maybe a chance, like I said there, towards the midweek. We're going to watch that, but don't change your plans for that. I think, like I said, tomorrow, and of course today, Monday and Tuesday, that's whenever the more robust precipitation chances are. All right. Up here, Lakehead, all the way down to Red Bluff, same situation, 50s through the rest of the week. Showers lingering through probably about Tuesday. Like I said, that's whenever we're going to build up this accumulation of rain, probably a couple more inches through Tuesday. But in the meantime, hey, let's look forward to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Thanksgiving and Black Friday, the weather is finally cooperating just a little bit for those outdoor plans.